Welcome back to our show, Sister Circle Live. And as we begin the new year, there is so much to focus on mm -hmm. with our health. Here to help us learn how to make 2020 our healthiest year yet is one of our favorite physicians, Dr. Frida Fisher. Yeah. Yeah. Always good to have you in the house. Always good to be yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, man, friend. Before we get into all these tips, Let's talk about medicine just for a second. Uh -oh. I, I was ill for a little while, but I got over it rather quickly. Good, good. But now we keep hearing about all these mysterious pneumonias and coming out. Too. So tell us about this this wave that's that's happening and, and what are the symptoms? Mm. What are we supposed to look for? Well, I'm glad you're feeling better, but you yes. are right. There is a mystery pneumonia on the loose. And it My actually God. started just last month, an outbreak in China where 59 people were infected at the same time mm -hmm. with this mystery virus that caused the pneumonia. Now, we've traced it back to a seafood market where they sell live rabbits, live snakes, See, you whatever you want. See, you can't be doing all of that. <laughs> <laughs> you can't no all that anyway. It also sold live snakes. snakes. And we think that the mystery pneumonia. Seafood snakes, <laughs> yes, rabbits. Yes. We think it's transmitted from these animals to humans. And mm -hmm. so, why do we care about a mystery pneumonia that's all the way in Asia? No, it travels. Thank you. Travels. Back in 2002, SARS was once a mystery mm -hmm. pneumonia, and it started way in Asia, but then it spread. It became a pandemic, hitting 37 countries, 8,000 people, killing 774 oh, people. So this mystery pneumonia needs to stay contained. My okay, now, gosh. okay, so it comes from China, but if it comes from food, how is it so contagious on to people as far as like, is it to touch? What's the difference between the pneumonia and the flu? Because flu good. is very, you know, very um, environmental. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, now for this mystery pneumonia, yeah. it has no human to human transmission. Okay. You cannot get it from another human. Thank we God. believe that it just comes from animal exposure. And so now for that food market, they right. shut that down since January 1st and they've taken care of that. But as far as the flu, versus the pneumonia. Mm -hmm. While the pneumonia just infects the lungs and infects the air sacs in the lungs, and it can be caused by a virus or a bacterium or right. a fungus, yeah, like kind of bacterium, yeah. the flu is just a virus, okay. a strain of the influenza virus. And while a complication of the flu can, can be pneumonia, mm -hmm. if you have the flu, you don't necessarily have pneumonia. Mm -hmm. It's more systemic right. with the okay. fever and the muscle aches. And you feel like you got hit by a Mack truck yeah, if you right, have the flu. Right. And, yeah. and really, that, does that come, um, does it get worse based on the person's immune system? Yes, okay. and so if you're a person who's very young, elderly, if even if you're a pregnant woman, mm -hmm. someone who's been on some type of a chemotherapy, if you already have a compromised immune system, you can get much sicker with the flu, and you can get the flu, right. human to human right. transmission. Mm -hmm. yeah. It is contagious. Yeah, yeah I have a very good friend who uh, was trying to figure out what was going on. She does have lupus, but they just figured mm -hmm. out that she had uh, some type of pneumonia, but it was like a, 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 a bacterial lung infection, yes. or something like that. Yes. But it took so long for them to diagnose her. So she's been sick since October, mm. and wow. they finally got it under control with meds but she's on the men now but it was just awful it's awful mm -hmm. that could have been something mysterious too it's it's it's, it's a lot going on it's a lot and with yeah. lupus her yeah. immune system is like already yeah. it's yeah. already compromised yes. absolutely well let's uh, try to flip it a little bit and and get us going Jeez. in the right direction for 2020 how do we stay focused on our health with our busy schedules because yes the way life is set up you want to get it done but then you want that bed mm, man it's I'm a thinking lot. About it right <laughs> that's true. I know <laughs> that is true how do we do that so in order to stay healthy I actually have these 10 healthy habits okay, for okay. a better you okay. and a better Let's life. And you can download it on my website, okay. drfrida.com. Yes. And when you are busy, it is very important that you take time to take care of you. We get busy, we get driven, we have higher and higher goals. Mm -hmm. We try to keep up with Quazzo Fortitude Mondays <laughs> <laughs> and Wealth Building Wednesdays. And we can sometimes get so caught up in Child. trying to enhance our wealth then we forget about our health. Yeah. So it's important to stay focused, prioritize yourself. Yeah. And it's not just about us, our children are watching. Yes. Yes. If your children see that you take care of everyone else and you don't, prior you don't prioritize yourself, then you're teaching your children that self-love is not important. Mm. So it's bigger than us for 2020. So that's a very healthy habit, self-care and self preservation. Mm -hmm. yes, now, yes. now how do we really focus on self-care and self-preservation and really loving ourselves? Mm -hmm. How do we how do we really stop for a moment and focus and actually put it into action? Right. Mm -hmm. The first thing you have to realize is that self-care is not selfish. In mm. fact, 
The American Heart Association even recognizes that self-care contributes to 40% of a patient's health. It's essential mm. for mental and physical health. Oof. And you shouldn't have never said that. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh -oh. I'll tell you something. It's about to go down the on the self-care. Self-care is on the self-love. Yes, yes. But you know, and if you don't, if we don't love ourselves, if we don't pour into ourselves, if our cups aren't filled, right. how can we pour love into others yes, and fill yes. their cups? So the self-care is essential. And all this hashtag self-care is not just about expensive things, expensive, yes. luxurious vacations. It can be as simple as meditating. And a good old bath. A good, good old, old bath. 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 Not the ice baths you've been taking. No, that's, <laughs> not, that's, not, that's, that's not the that one. That's self-sabotage. But anything that is restorative to your energy to help you to boost yourself, that's self-care and that's a healthy habit going into 2020 that we mm. absolutely must have. Yes. yes. Now, staying active is yes. also a healthy habit. You know, I'm an advocate for uh, working out, I'm like a gym rat. I love to go down <laughs> to the gym. It's like medicine for me. But why is that just important for people in general? Like everybody doesn't have to be a gym rat per right. se, but it is important for people to be active. Why? Why is that important? It is important. And you are such an awesome example. I can't believe your transformation. I'm so proud of you. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you are winning. Yes. You are winning. Thank and you. physical activity is important because we need cardiovascular health to mm -hmm. prevent obesity, to prevent hypertension, diabetes, strokes, kidney failure. So not only does physical activity prolong your life, it also gives you a better quality of life. Mm -hmm. Yes. And we want long, healthy lives going into 2020. So physical activity is one of these healthy habits for a better you and a better life. And it make yes. you feel better too. It does. It's endorphins. It's, yes. You know, it's it's wonderful. Lit this yeah. morning. <laughs> and you feel better. Like when you come from the gym as opposed to not going to the gym. True. Like I, I, want, I be real sad if I don't go to the gym. But if I go to the gym, I be like, hey. <laughs> it's very true it's about true. endorphins. It's true. Yes, it really it's is. It's physical yeah. and it's mental. Yeah. I agree. Well, mm -hmm. you know, you've been an advocate of continuing to educate yourself. Yes. Uh, but tell us about how important it is to educate ourselves on having a healthy mind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Now, there's no secret. I am a lover of learning. It is wonderful to teach yourself something new mm -hmm. every day. Step outside of your arena. Read a book. Have a conversation mm -hmm. with someone who you think may be totally opposite from you, and you'll learn more about that person, mm -hmm. more about yourself. Mm -hmm. Do word That's games, good. mind games. You want to always grow. Yes. And when you educate yourself, that's the key. You help yourself, you help your friends, you help your family, and you can actually contribute to society, to the future, to grow. It's good for mental health, and it's essential to educate yourself. Learn something new yes. each day. Love it, love it, love All it. All right, goodness, Dr. Freedom, right. thank you so much for joining thank us. You. We love when you come to us. Yes. Be sure to follow Dr. Freedom on Instagram at Dr. Freedom.